Download the eBridge Print and Capture app from Google Play. Note, your mobile device will need to be connected via Wi-Fi to the same network as your Toshiba eStudio system. Perform the following steps to scan documents to cloud storage with eBridge Print and Capture. After installation is complete, launch the application on your Android device by tapping the eBridge Print and Capture icon. Place your documents on the platen glass or in the document feeder of the Toshiba eStudio system and then tap Scan in the Capture section of the application menu. On first use of the app for printing, the system will attempt to locate your Toshiba eStudio system on the Wi-Fi network. If no devices are discovered, you can enter the IP address manually. To manually input the IP address for your system, click Manual on the upper right side of the app. Enter the IP address or full host name of your system and then tap Start Discovery. Make any desired scan setting changes, in other words, file type, color mode, resolution, or duplex mode, and then tap Scan. Your scan job will be sent to your device via Wi-Fi. Please remain on this screen until the data transmission has completed. You can change the orientation of your scanned file by clicking the Rotate tool on the top center portion of the app. Using the Share tool near the top right side of the screen, you can share the file via email, text, OneNote, or many other options depending on the apps that you have downloaded to your device. You can also use the Send tool at the top center portion of the screen to save the file locally on your device as a PDF, JPEG, or slim PDF document, or send to a desired cloud-based storage location, such as Dropbox or Google Drive. In this tutorial, we will save the scanned file to Google Drive. Tap Google Drive from the Send drop-down menu. You will be given the option to change the name of your scanned file. Tap OK to select the default name created for the file. If you have multiple Google Drive accounts, you will be given a choice to select which account to upload the scanned file to. Select an account and tap OK. Next, you will see a screen showing the progress of the file upload to your Google Drive. After the upload process is complete, the app will return to the preview screen. To return to the main menu in the eBridge Print and Capture app, tap Preview at the top left of the screen. To view the uploaded scanned file, go to your Google Drive account. A folder was created named eBridge, which is where all files uploaded from the eBridge Print and Capture app will be stored. Tap the eBridge folder to open it and view your scanned files.